myself, James Benzie, aka the Bearded Benzie. So, like I said in that last video, I have a Pulse 24 for you guys. So I have a up close and personal look. I also have the Vapor Storm Box Mod Kit, the Storm 100. So, you know the drill, guys. We'll go up to an up close personal look and then I will see you in a second. Hello guys, like I said, let's have a look at this one first, so look at that there, a nice Tony B project row on the top there for you guys. So this is the BF one, we have got an offer on this one in store at the moment with the BF Squonker and A25 R battery with either the Pulse 24 or the Pulse 22 for 60 quid. just throwing that one out there so you guys know about that one, because I'm cheeky that way you see. So. There she is, and your little spare Delrin drip tip. Not a massive love of them. I like the ones that they come with. But, just in case you do want a change, that's what you get. So let's just tip this up and see what we get. Move all of it out of the way. So, as always, you get your Pulse 24 usual manual, which just goes through everything you need to know. It gives you an expanded view of the tank, which is what I'm going to do now anyway, so let's just move this out. So you get your drip tip converter there as standard, so you go from an 810 to a 510. Also get a spare set of screws, your squonk pin, o-ring set and a multi-tool with two different sized allen keys and a Phillips head on there as well. So let's bring in my trusty mod for this test, the iJoy Diamond Mini, just so I can take this top cap off this dripper. Oh, as you can see, I've done a crazy little build in there. I've just done some two vertical chimneys on a single piece of Clapton wire. Just because I wanted to test it and see what it looked like. I don't know whether we can get a close-up version of those. They're not the greatest. Like I say, I literally just threw them in just for the purpose of trying the tank. And why not? So I did. So, like I was saying about that drug one in the last video, even though the drip well isn't as huge on this one as it is on the drugger, the airflow on this thing, as you'll see, oh, let's just move this back out of the way. And let's see, I can't even separate it. Can you tell it's still new when all these seals are going? It's shocking, isn't it? See, now, if I'd have pre planned this, this would have worked properly. But I didn't because we don't operate that. So, it's your centre part of the top cap with your seal on, which. It's starting to get a little bit of juice in there, so we are working. And then those air flows. Now, I'm going to turn this upside down a little bit. Going to see if we can zoom in so you can see. Am I going too far back there? Is that about right there? So, I don't know whether you can see inside there, those air flow tubes actually protrude into the shell. That's to give you direct air flow, direct on the coil. Now, I love... I stress, I love the airflow on this particular tank, I think it's insane. So when they're on like that, you get a nice view, a nice Van de Vape logo up there, and the Pulse logo right on the side. And that's the top cap for that. So let's just pop that on, and pop that to one side a second, and then we'll swiftly move on, because we're going to do a dual one this time, to the Vapor Storm Box 100 mod. Are you ready for this guys? This is the wood one. Uh, it does come in a variety of colours. Are you ready? Yeah. Boom! Look at those bad boys. Anyway, swiftly moving on, like I said. So I keep on doing the same thing. So in here we have your certificate of inspection from Vaporstorm. Just so you know everything's fine and dandy. Your user manual, just in case you forget anything. Or you don't understand what I'm saying to you and you want to go and have a look. And you want to go and have a look at the kit. So, this did come with a spare coil but I have been using it, so spare coils missing from this particular kit. But you get all your essentials. There is a nice gold 510 drip tip in there. I'm not into that myself. I don't think it's pretty cool. You do get spare glass, which is, again, see, if I'd have prepped this, everything would have just slid out. So, oh, look at that. Couple of O rings there for you hidden inside your spare glass. So let's just put them back in the box so they're out of my way. Let's have a look at this wood thing here. So there's the mod itself, and there's 
there's the tank. So that's everything you get in your box, guys. Let's just move this out of the way. So as you can see, this has already got liquid in it because I've already used it prior to this because I wanted to see. I was really excited. Now I don't know whether you're going to catch it on on the camera, but this drip tip that I currently have, this is the one that it comes fitted with on the actual tank when you get it. It's the, it's the acrylic, but it's got like a wood grain pattern on it. I'm trying to get it with the light because my other circular light is a little bit Pinky and they pinched it for another project. I should get that back pretty soon, hopefully. Um, the one downside to this kit is the coil. Uh, I'll have a better in-depth talk about that in a moment. But the airflow, as you can see there, it's got a stop on both ends. So you can either have it fully open or half. So let's just have a quick check at that airflow. She's a noisy one. So let's see what it's like halfway. Generally quiets a lot of tanks down. She seems to get louder. Let's do it near enough closed. That's better. So it's quieting it down. All the way closed near enough. A loud tank. Just, ooh, see. Preparation is key. So this is the Vapor Storm box mod. This is a inbuilt battery. Up to 800 watts also running in TC mode as well. So let's just screw this on. One thing that I find really satisfying about this, I don't know whether you're going to see this on camera, but this is one of the flushest fits I've seen. Now, I did run the pulse on this as well, and the pulse looked ridiculous. Yes, the pulse is a 24, this is a 22. So there is a little bit of hope and if you use anything bigger than that but that tank fits nice and flush on there as well with its little vent holes in the side so as you can see nice little digital display there and i think it's trying to run in yeah it is there we go now we're back on power mode so you do have your standard tc controls on there for nickel titanium and stainless steel so, I'm going to pop back over guys, we'll get a little bit more of an in-depth review on this particular kit and I'll leave a little bit on the pulse and we'll talk about why I like that one, so I'll see you in a second. And welcome back guys. So, like I was just saying then about this mod. Now, there are a few drawbacks to this mod, obviously I've tested it, so the unboxing was just put back together for it. And as we've always said guys, we are going to do it completely natural, I'm not going to practice any scripts. I'm not going to tarnish anything, you just get a 100% review on what we think about this kit. Now, I've had this one for a few days now, and normally I vape at around 70, so I run this one at 70, and even though this has a very large 3200 milliamp hour inbuilt battery, it doesn't compare to the VatWiz battery, which just blows it out of water. The VatWiz battery is the exact same size, there's 200 million powers. I got three quarters of the way through my day the other day, and this just died after being fully charged. Uh, now on the VatWiz, that's still going three days later on the same charge. Yes, it's running low, but it's still going. This was like three quarters of a day flat. That's the only draw side that I found with the mod itself. Now everything else functions just as you'd expect it, the temperature control mode does what you want it to do, wattage goes up and down as you'd expect it, and the charging port works as you'd expect it to, as well as pass through, so I can't complain too much with the mod itself, the battery life is a bit terrible, that could be a number of factors, but compared to another 3200 mod in the VatWiz Pollux, the VatWiz Pollux smashes it out of water every single time, the other drawback to this tank is its coil. Now, how do I say this without getting into trouble? They're, they're just not good. The first coil lasted all of 25 minutes and before anyone starts dropping comments down below, yes it was primed, yes everything was done correctly, we know what we're doing. This is the only coil I have ever had, barring a smock coil once, that lasted, and I'm not joking you, 25 minutes. And that was with the 
Rush, uh, not the Rush Rush, you know, that was with the Cheap Frills Sunset Ice we did in a earlier video, uh, and it lasted 25 minutes. This one now, I've only had a tiny little bit of liquid out of there, so I'm hoping, it's been sat for a couple of days, so I'm hoping that this is going to work and I'm not going to choke. I'm not going to get a dry hit because that's what happened on the last one. That could just be a manufacturing error. Could be a load of different things. But again, I'm paid to be honest and I'm asked to be honest. And that's something that I found that I wasn't 100% with. So let's just see what this second oil is like now. Brace yourself. Now, literally, I had the smallest part out of this tank, so I probably had a seven or eight totes on it once it was primed and then it sat there for a few days because I didn't want it to go. So I genuinely, after the last time I touched this, haven't used this tank purposely so I could save this coil for the review, so I just left it sat there with a bit of liquid in it. It is a bit bubbly, which you'd expect from leaving liquid in a tank, which isn't always advised to do so. but. We're a vapors, we do, we just leave it in, walk off, forget it. And still get a good taste off this cup. Now, that could be the liquid choice that I'm using, that it's just not working, could be overly wicked, could be packed too tight. We all know the score with coils. However, if it's only had seven or eight pulls off it and been left for seven days, it shouldn't taste like that at all. It shouldn't even come close to it. So, in that sense, I'm mightily disappointed in the tank aspect of that particular kit. The battery is really, even though it looks an odd shape, it's really, really nice to hold. I like holding it either, either way, it works, and it just feels comfortable. It is a really nice unit. The tank lets it down for me, personally. Now, obviously, you're going to make your own mind up on what you think of it if you do go and buy one of them. Just that coil. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the design of the tank. I think the tank's a smart looking tank, but that coil, it could do with a little bit of work. Now, whether they want to contact VatWiz and ask how they make their coils, because, yeah, I'm going to push the VatWiz. The coils on that thing are insane, especially the 0.2 of an own coil. It is absolutely fabulous. Now, that's in a pen style kit, and the one I've got in my kit was from the very first YouTube video that we did, however many weeks ago it is, and that coil's still going. And I use that thing daily. Yes, granted, I only use it when in and going home from work, but it gets used every day irrespective of that, and them coils are still going. So guys, if I was gonna score the whole kit as a whole, it'd probably get seven, just because it does look aesthetically nice, it does feel nice, the unit works really well. The reason that it's missing those points are the coil and that battery life. And again, that could just be me running a dripper on there and it's just draining a little bit too much. There could be a load of variables in it. I could have overcharged it. Anything could have happened. However, I'd expect more out of a 3200 milliamp hour inbuilt battery and it is, excuse me, it is pumping out. I mean, it's still pumping out a fully charged battery. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that one. So let's move over to the Pulse. So we've already had an in-depth look with this one. Um, I've already told you what I thought about this one. I especially love the airflow on this and the 22 as well. 22 is angled a little bit more. The airflow's uh, just angled a little bit more. But one thing I didn't show you on the close-up is the way that they've designed these to sit in this bottom bezelment here. So you do have some pretty deep juice wells on the side. I think we're about half a mil each and then you've got your swamp pin and everything in there which just comes out from the side and goes both into the, those. So I think it's a really smart dripper. I think it's really nice. I like the fact that it fits snug. I mean on this it fits beautifully. It absolutely looks fine. In fact that's probably the dripper that's going to stay on this mod to be fair because I'm one, I really like this dripper and two, I really like this mod. Um, so let me just grab a liquid that I can drip with. I just grabbed Sunset Ice because it's the one that's here from the other day. I took everything else and left this one up here. 
So you've already seen my review on this one to do with flavour, but this is just so you can see. So these are just on practice coils. I wasn't I'm not a pro coil builder. Uh, if anyone wants to send me some coils, it's the Alexa Effects Lord Hells Me Poor champion. Uh, I'll never turn them down. Uh, but yeah, let's have a let's have a little taste review and see what this one does. Now bear in mind these coils coming out at 1.25 ohm, so these are not long coils. These are a little bit different. I like playing around with wire. I get bored when I'm sat there sometimes, so I thought I wonder if I can get a double chimney out of a single piece of clapton wire that I just had lying about, and I did. I wish I'd have done a quad. I may do a quad in the next one, but I just did it because why not? I mean, that's what we are. That's what we're about. So I think I'll just switch this into a different mode. Bear with me. No, no, there we go. So you can see I'll let the smoke come out of that. Like I say, guys, it wasn't to. Which side did we put this on that one? Let's cover that airflow up. Hey, so I just looked at it. I wish I had noticed this on the last video with the cheap thrills. But that Sunset Ice tastes phenomenal on a mouth to style coil than it did on a sub over coil. Strange, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. So, Obviously, I'm only utilising one side of this dripper, so I'm just going to close the other side off. And the airflow still, just on one side, is still phenomenal. There we go. A little bit more vapour production. So, lovely camera assistant just told me I've only got one minute left. So, I guess I've yabbered on for long enough about the do's and don'ts and the ins and outs of the vapour storm and the fact that the battery life didn't last as long, the fact that the coils aren't the greatest and the fact that I fell in love with the Pulse 24 RDA from Vandy Vape. So guys, I shall see you next time. So remember, vape on, vape strong and as always, keep it cloudy.